Hello folks, this is Zubel from ThemeZoom.com and today I'm going to show you how I do keyword research for local based keywords. So if you've been following along in the members area you know that my niche that I'm working on is first time home buyers and I drilled into first time home buyer in the last keyword tool and as you probably are aware the last keyword tool just brings me back a bunch of keywords that they're not necessarily thematically related so the first thing that I want to do is I'm gonna play a filter and I'm gonna ask it to give me both things that are related to my um, parent term which is I do it with this part where the the Larry is greater than 60 and then I'm also looking for where the keyword has got some kind of cost so that it's got um, a pay-per-click value to it. I'm going to apply that filter and that brings me, that, that lowers the number of keywords to 27. So now I want to take that and export it into Excel and in Excel I'm going to apply a couple of little tricks. Let's just bring this down so you can see it. Alright, so I'm going to insert a column over here and I'm going to make this column all the same thing. This is um, one of the burbs in the Greater Phoenix Valley and I'm going to, I just double click on that and that copies it down the entire length of um, my column here. And now what I want to do is um, I'm going to create this keyword by concatenating what's in column A together with what's in column B and we do that this way. We put a space in between those two values too so that it creates a keyword, Tempe Homebuyer. Now I can take that, double click on it, and voila! There's my list of locale based keywords. So I'm going to grab this, copy it, come back here to the last keyword tool, pop it into the import function, and we're away. And come back in a minute and show you what the results are. Okay, so we're back. Come in here, we're going to take a look, we're going to change the filter, and what we want now is the function that says that the keyword was imported so that we just looking at these keywords that we imported. Now here's the tricky bit, okay? If I ranked for these terms or if I made a Google AdWords ad for these terms I would find out that there's more than just these three that are going to have cost and traffic or at least that are going to have traffic and um, I've, I've done this before with other websites where I, I rank for a bunch of keywords and if you go into uh, Google Keyword Tool or into Google Estimator it'll tell me that there's no traffic on those terms and yet I see traffic coming to my site from my log files. So just because this says that there's no cost in traffic on those terms, even no searches on those terms, don't believe it. Okay, so what I want to do, I know that the keywords that are in here that have got cost and traffic and searches, I know that those are valuable terms. So if they're applicable to my USP, to what I'm trying to do with my website, then I want to make sure that I use those in my blueprint. Now, since there's only like three or four terms that uh, are supposedly worthwhile here, obviously I'm going to want to target more than three or four terms in my blueprint. So what I'm going to do is go back to my other list now and back to that quote national level terms and I'm going to look for the most searched on terms. Let's just do that really fast. I'm going to get rid of this filter and I'm going to do a search on, uh, I'm going to, oh actually you know what, I should have a filter. I'm going to keep the filter that's got a Larry greater than 60 so that I've got thematically related terms and now I'm going to hit the searches so, so that this thing is um, organized by searches and then I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to find the most searched for terms and those are going to be my first choices, the, the things that apply again to my USP. Those are going to be some of my first searches or first choices that I'm going to include in my blueprint because that's going to guarantee that I'm going to get traffic. Okay, that's what I do to come up with my keyword list. This is Sue Bell from ThemeZoom signing off.